Intel is collaborating with Carnegie Mellon University on this brain research. So we've scanned a, a single person's brain and what we're seeing on the screen here is the pattern of activity recorded when we showed them various words. And what you can see is that the house and the barn have a very similar pattern of brain activity and screwdriver and hammer also are very similar to each other but very different from house and barn. And it's those sorts of distinctions in the brain activity pattern that we're using to decode what people are thinking. So today we're using very big and bulky technology like MRI machines to sense brain activity. But we and others around the world are working to miniaturize and, and make more practical brain sensing technology. At some point we hope to eventually have it down to the size that it'll fit into a hat. So what we're trying to do is explore ways of understanding what people want, what their intentions and goals are. We're investigating traditional ways like speech recognition, recognizing gestures, tones of voice, but there may be a more direct way that we're excited about, and that is decoding patterns of activity in the person's brain. If we can decode what they're thinking, we could potentially command our computers and our robots using just our thoughts. What we're doing is trying to tie the biology of the brain, the neural activity, to the ideas that we're thinking about. So Justin is now being shown these uh, word image pairs. And the only information it will have to go on is the brain image. So from his brain image for these new words, it will have to identify which one it is. And now that we've collected the images from uh, Justin's brain while he was thinking about these eight words, um, we've asked the computer algorithm to look at the brain imaging data that we've collected and tell us which word was which. The word was chisel. My first guess is chisel. I that's think that's ten. it got a 10 out of 10 in a, in a two choice test. It got a perfect score. It means that all of us, to some extent, when we think of a chair or an apple or a hammer or any physical object, very similar things are happening to our brain. So a better understanding of how the brain works will allow us to make computers that are smarter and easier to use in the future.